Do you ever wonder about the secrets that your partner keeps? Have you caught your partner telling lies? Imagine being married for more than 60 years, then discovering that all the time and emotion spent in your relationship was all a lie. This is the story of Audrey Phillips, the widow of Glinder. Years after her husband had passed on, she discovered that he had been keeping a secret all this time. Before we start, can we get this video to 1000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Audrey was a simple woman. She considered being married as one of the best decisions she has ever made and she adored her husband so much. They were not wealthy but she was very content with everything they had. So when she found out her husband's secret, it was a devastating blow to her reality. Audrey met her husband in a bar. It was love at first sight for both of them. Although Glyndwer had this aura of mystery that made it impossible for her to read him, she found that she was very relaxed and comfortable around him. It was clear to see that both had fallen hard for each other. They never felt anything like it. And even if Glyndwer had to disappear from time to time for his job, he always came back and found time to be with Aubrey. All she knew was that Glyndwer was a civil engineer and that most of his jobs were out of town. But a few months after their marriage, the couple received the news something big that would change their lives. Audrey had been going about her day as usual when she suddenly felt a sharp pain in her abdomen. It was a good thing that Glinder was home that time. He had just returned from another business trip. They immediately rushed to the emergency room of the nearest hospital. After a thorough examination, the doctor said he had important news to share. It was then that the doctor informed them that Audrey was pregnant. Audrey and Glinder were very relieved they happily received the news, and the pregnancy brought them closer together. Audrey then gave birth to a healthy baby boy. They named him Jake. Although Glinder never tells Audrey where he goes or what he does during his business trips, she was very confident in the love that Glinder has for her. One day, something strange had happened. Glinder went out for one of his usual afternoon walks, but this time, he looked very stressed when he came back home. He then told Audrey that their family had to relocate to a new place within a week. Audrey was in shock. She felt disoriented, as if she just imagined what Glinder said. While the couple argued about this sudden relocation, Audrey felt pain in her abdomen. Glinder rushed her to the hospital again, and they found out she was pregnant for the second time. But this time, the good news had a catch. Audrey's second pregnancy was a sensitive one. If they choose to have the baby, it can put Audrey at risk or mean that this would be the last baby they can ever have. The couple chose to keep the baby and deal with the risks. Because of Audrey's high-risk pregnancy, relocation was no longer an option. Lunder's foul mood did not last long. He catered to Audrey and Jake due to her condition. Audrey was bedridden for most of the pregnancy, so Glendor also reduced the number of business trips he had to take for his job. The next 50 years of their marriage were a harmonious one. But then, another challenge came for the couple. Glinder's health was deteriorating. He also had a few other symptoms, so they decided to see a doctor about it. The doctor informed them that Glinder had Parkinson's disease. Audrey was devastated when she heard the doctor. Because of this, she decided to make the most of the time they had left together. Glinder then passed away in a few weeks. Audrey was devastated, and the few people who got to know him were saddened by his passing. He was generally seen as the mysterious family man who catered to his wife and kids and all had the name of somebody else. From what Audrey read on the documents, it looked like it was all about a young boy. The young boy had taken a test and it was found that he had a photographic memory. Audrey had a hard time without her loving husband by her side. It was so hard that she could not even find the strength to clear his belongings. But she knew that she would have to clear his stuff out to move on. It was a necessary grieving process. It took three years before Audrey had the guts to start going through Glinder's belongings. Aside from his job as a civil engineer, Glinder seemed to have a love for writing. He often retreated to his study where he would be seen writing on this desk. Although Glinder and Audrey shared almost everything, Audrey never went through the contents of Glinder's desk in the study. As she sat in his chair and looked at the drawer, she actually felt nervous. It felt as if she was snooping around. When she pulled open the drawer, all she saw were some strange-looking documents. The boy could memorize anything, even pictures and maps. 
there was a letter from a school stating they decided to pull out the boy from school because his photographic memory gave him an unfair advantage. But what does this have to do with her husband? Audrey checked the letter and found a date. Upon her estimation, her husband would have been 13 years old at that time. It was about the same age as the boy in the documents. It was then that Audrey started to become more suspicious than curious. She read one document after another, curious about the boy. She had reached the bottom of the pile of papers in the drawer when she found a document that shocked her. The document was about a secret operation, a counter-espionage project called XX. Most of the document seemed to be a code, and she could not decipher it. Why was her husband in possession of this type of information? She then found a note with a telephone number on it. Audrey suspected that if she dialed that number, whoever would answer at the other end of the line will have all the answers she need. But Audrey hesitated. Audrey took days to decide what to do with the telephone number. Until one day, she finally dialed the number. She figured out that this was the only chance she could find out the truth. She called the number twice, but nobody answered. Then that night, Audrey received a phone call. When she answered, a man in a calm and smooth voice asked if he was speaking to Audrey Phillips. When Audrey verified her identity, the man asked how he got the number. Audrey then shared that he found the number between some documents that Glinder had on his desk. There was a long pause at the other end of the line. Audrey was thinking that maybe the call was disconnected when the man finally said he will come over tomorrow to explain everything. Audrey could hardly sleep that night. What did the man mean when he said he would explain everything? The next day, an old man came knocking at the door. Audrey welcomed him in even if she never saw him before. Who was this man and how did he know Glinder? After formal introductions were made, the old man said he had worked with Glinder for over 30 years and there was something that Glinder had never told her. Glinder happened to be a very talented and smart man. His intelligence was discovered while he was very young. Glinder and his friend were recruited into the army at the same time. They were very young and normal school had bored them, so they preferred to join the military and looked at it as if they were going on an adventure. Because of their intelligence, Glinder and his friend went through a special training program in the military where they were taught German and often had memory tests. Glinder had been working for the British intelligence force since he was a teenager. Everything was meant to be a secret. Because they were recruited as minors, the military had to seek permission from their fathers. Because of this, only their fathers were allowed to know the truth. By the time Glinder and his friend completed training, World War II just started. That's when they received the news that their services are immediately needed. During the war, Glinder and his friend were tasked to secretly enter prisons through long concrete pipes underground. They were supposed to befriend German prisoners and try to win their trust. Once a relationship is established, they are supposed to retrieve information from them. This was how their lives had been until the war ended a few years after. After the war, Glinder and his friend were contacted by their captain. He had a new project suitable for their skills, and it was another secret project. They had to go through more training and were not allowed to speak of it to anyone this time. Everyone in the program was trained to manage to live a double life. Then, they would leave from time to time to go on secret missions. They were able to work together on their first mission after graduating from the program. This time, they were tasked to break into an army camp and gather intel about two spies. Audrey could not believe that after being married to Glinder for more than 60 years, she never suspected a thing. She had so many questions, but his friend said there is only so much that he is allowed to tell her. He then gave her a piece of paper. It was a letter from Glinder. The letter began with, Dear Audrey, if you ever read this, it means that I have passed on and that you have discovered my biggest secret. Glinder then went on to explain that he never told her what he did to keep her and the kids safe. Enclosed in the letter is a check with a huge amount of money. It turned out that he had set aside all the money to be given to her when something happens to him. He said this was partly an apology for lying to her about his life. Audrey herself was old and had no idea what to do with all the money. Their children were also in their 60s by the time Glender's secret was discovered. The family then decided to donate the money towards veteran relief. Audrey was proud of her husband and all the work that he had been doing for the country. Not long after, Audrey discovered Glender's diary, 
She found out through his diary that Glinder had gone to four secret missions, two of which happened before they were married. Audrey was able to find some form of closure while reading her husband's thoughts from the very start. She had no doubt that the love they shared was real. Audrey then decided to immortalize her husband by publishing her husband's life story into a book entitled Operation XX and Me. Did I have a choice? Audrey has been very proud of what her husband managed to accomplish from a very young age, and she believed that it was a story worth sharing.